Hello friends, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about L Cipher topic of network security. So first of all, see the outline of this video is L Cipher rules for encryption and decryption. Second one, example of L Cipher encryption and decryption using two cross two key matrix. Third one, example of L Cipher encryption using three cross three key matrix. And the last one is exercise of hill cipher now let us start with types of symmetric cipher there are basically two types of symmetric cipher first one is substitution cipher and second one is transposition cipher the definition of substitution cipher means substitute or we can say replace given letter with numbers another letters or special symbols it is called substitution cipher uh, for example here abc is the plain text so uh, character a is replaced with x uh, character b is replaced with y and character c is replaced with z so here abc is replaced with x y z so abc is the plain text and x y z is the cipher text second one transposition cipher in transposition cipher techniques there is no replacement or substitution only to change the position of the given letter or characters so it means for example a b c d e is the given plain text now change the position of this a b c d e letters and it generates cipher text now see in this example this is the plain text and this is generated cipher text there is no replacement or no substitution types of substitution techniques so there are six types of sub substitution technique first one is scissor cipher second one is monoalphabetic third one is polyalphabetic fourth one is playfair cipher fifth one is one time paired cipher and the sixth one is hill cipher in this video we are going to discuss about hill cipher and above five techniques are already discussed and videos are available in my channel let us discuss with hill cipher hill cipher is polyalphabetic substitution cipher because uh, character is replaced by another character and polyalphabetic means if you want to generate cipher text you must have use multiple letters not a single letter one uh, one letter from the plain text and one letter from the key matrix second one this technique was developed by mathematician lester hill hill cipher is based on linear algebra uh, input of these techniques are keyword it means the key given in the matrix form and the plain text so you must have to uh, change or we can say convert plain text into matrix form so keyword is given in the matrix form rules of encryption is as follow encryption and decryption so hill cipher rules for the encryption the first rule is assign a number to each character of the plain text like a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 up to z is equal to 25 so here i have prepared one table now you can see over here a is equal to 0 b equal to 1 c equal to 2 up to given number is z is equal to 25 so all the numbers given in the sequence from 0 to 25 to alphabets a to z now for example plain text is equal to sunday so what happened s is equal to 18 s is equal to 18 u is equal to 20 u is equal to 20 n equal to 13 now you can see over here d equal to 3 a equal to 0 and y is equal to 24 so here given plain text it is converted into numbers because key is given in the matrix form and matrix is given uh, some values or we can say some numbers now rule number two two cross two or three cross three key matrix is given for example now you can see over this is two cross two and this is three cross three key matrix rule number three make a group of plain text as per given key matrix size so for example plain text is equal to sunday so how can we make a group if key matrix is 2 cross 2 it means this type of matrix is given so here our uh, plain text is divided into two uh, group of letters so su nd and ay if key matrix is 3 cross 3 then plain text divide into group of three alphabets sun and day because 
Key matrix is 3 cross 3. Now, each pair of plain text multiply with key matrix. Rule number 4. Multiplication of plain text matrix and keyword matrix generate a new matrix. It means there is simple uh, matrix multiplication is there and it generates one resultant matrix. So, resultant matrix values modulus with 26 because uh, after uh, matrix multiplication we get the value more than 26 so again we have to convert into 0 to 25 because number will be replaced with character so rule number six after modulus 26 matrix values assign characters using rule number one table it generates final ciphertext now rules for decryption first one Assign a number to each character of the uh, ciphertext like a is equal to 0, b equal to 1, c equal to 2 as per given table. It means same table we have already used in encryption. For example, ciphertext is equal to Sunday. Now, each character convert into numbers. We have already discussed this in encryption rule. Next, rule number 2. Find the inverse of the given key matrix 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3. So, key matrix is given during the encryption. So, find the inverse of that key matrix. Rule number 3. Make a group of ciphertext as per given key matrix size. Uh, as per the encryption, if uh, our ciphertext is Sunday, so now what we have to do, if key matrix is 2 cross 2, then ciphertext divide into group of two alphabets. Here, SU, ND and AY. If key matrix is 3 cross 3, then ciphertext divide into group of three alphabets s u n d a y next rule number four so multiplication of cipher text matrix and inverse keyword matrix generates a resultant matrix so resultant matrix values modulus with 26 so both the rules same as the encryption here uh, plain text matrix is replaced with the cipher text matrix and keyword matrix is replaced with the inverse keyword matrix Rule number 6. After modulus 26, matrix values assign character using rule number 1 table. It generates final plain text. So, this is the rules for encryption and decryption. Now, we discuss one example. Uh, here, encryption and decryption process example for the Hill cipher. So, here key matrix size is 2 cross 2. First of all, example plain text is CD. Here, one plain text is given, it is CD. And find out the cipher text using Hill cipher and again decrypt the cipher text using Hill, Hill cipher. Here, key matrix is 2334. It is already given in the example. So, how can we find the solution or we can say how can we find the cipher text and again decrypt that cipher text and find the plain text. So, start with the solution. Here, plain text is equal to CD. So, CD, it is convert into numbers as per the given table. So, C is equal to 2 and D is equal to 3. Now, key matrix is 2, 3, 3, 4. It is already given. Here, my plain text is already group of 2 character. No need to divide for the group. So, here, uh, find the multiplication of the plain text and key matrix. So, this is the key matrix. Multiply with uh, plain text character. So, here character is uh, replaced with numbers. So, 2, 3, 3, 4 multiply by 2, 3. So, the simplification or we can say the multiplication of this matrix process is uh, shown over here. So, final value it is uh, 13 and second one is 18. So, our resultant matrix is 13 and 18. Now, next modulus 26. Here, uh, my resultant matrix 13 and 18 is less than 26 but it is mandatory to modulus 26 if number is more than 26 so again we have to uh, convert into 0 to 25 so modulus 26 is required so here 13 18 now 13 18 is replaced with character here 13 is the n and 18 is the s so this is n s so this is my final ciphertext n s so this is the encryption or we can say find the ciphertext from the given plain text now decrypt the ciphertext so first of all we have to find the inverse 
key matrix of the given key matrix so find out inverse matrix of the given key matrix so the equation is k inverse is equal to 1 mod k multiply with k adjoint here k is the our given key matrix so here find out the mod k is equal to 2 3 3 4 and the mod is minus 1 so mod k is equal to minus 1 now find the key adjoint key adjoint find uh, using like that here uh, first diagonal uh, numbers with change with each other so here 2 4 it is change the position 4 2 and the second diagonal the sign is change now you can see is uh, there this is 3 3 it is change minus 3 minus 3 now uh, key inverse is equal to 1 mod k multiply with k adjoint so this is the simplification of this equation put the value and this is my inverse matrix now start the decryption process so first of all ciphertext is equal to ns n is equal to 13 and s is equal to 18 as per the given table now this is key inverse matrix now key inverse matrix multiply with ciphertext ns here n and s is replaced with numbers so now you can see over here the n and s is replaced with that number so here multiplication process of the matrix is this is the multiplication process and finally uh, the resultant matrix is 2 3 again modulo 26 here modulo 26 is not required if value is more than 26 then modulus 26 is required so now you can see over here this is the final resultant matrix 2 3 now again convert number into character so 2 is equal to c and 3 is equal to d so plain text is equal to cd so this is the decryption process using 2 cross 2 key matrix next encryption process or we can say example of encryption using key matrix 3 cross 3 so first of all the plain text is bet find out cipher text of given plain text using hill cipher key matrix is given below now you can see over here uh, i take one example of uh, three alphabets so no need to uh, we have divide the plain text into groups so plain text is equal to bat again we have to uh, letter replace with numbers so b is equal to 1 a is equal to 0 and t is equal to 19 now multiply this uh, plain text and given key matrix now you can see over here this is the first step here bat replace with the uh, numbers 1 0 and 19 now multiply so the resultant matrix is 20 21 and 40 here 40 is greater than 26 so modulus 26 is required so now it is 20 21 and 14 now this numbers are replaced with character so finally uvo here uvo is the cipher text of the given plain text so now exercise the first exercise is plain text is sunday find out the cipher text using hill cipher key matrix is equal to 2 3 3 4 solution plain text is equal to sunday now character replace with number so here key matrix is 2 cross 2 so here plain text is uh, there are six letters in the plain text so now it uh, make a group of uh, two alphabets so s u n d and a y so group wise multiply with key matrix now you can see over here so find out the solution or we can say find out the multiplication of matrix and what is the cipher text write your answer in comment section example number two plan text is sunday find out the cipher text using hill cipher and key matrix is 3 cross 3 so the solution so this is the uh, alphabets convert into numbers as per the given table here key matrix is 3 cross 3 then plain text will make a group of 3 so s u n d a y because our key matrix is 3 cross 3 so find out the matrix multiplication 
So what is the answer? So we can say find out the ciphertext and write your answer in comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube, Chirak Baloria. Follow my blog, eduresources1.blogspot.com. Thank you.